Welcome back to Barn DIY. Today's going to be a review day. Uh, we're going to be doing a review on the Bodum coffee grinder that we have. We've had this now for about one year, give or take a little bit. There's an old video back there where we uh, where we initially got it. So uh, pros and cons about this. We'll give you a little rundown. Uh, first month or so was really good. And then the time on here just started to, to get a little bit longer. Uh, we don't use this in a commercial setting. We use this primarily for our home. And we'll use this in the morning uh, to do two cups. And we use it in the afternoon to do a couple cups as well. That occasion we do uh, a third grind throughout the day. Each grind we do is gonna be 40 grams of coffee. So uh, I don't know if that's light or heavy for what you guys like to grind your coffee at, but that's where we found uh, we like ours at. One of the nice things about this grinder is there's no definite stops in between each number so you can kind of rotate it kind of where you want so if it's a little bit too coarse on one side you can just back it off a little bit this bottom grinder is a chronicle grinder which means there's there's an internal uh, like auger and then there's a grinder piece on the outside it is designed very well uh, we do take care of it uh, we take it apart we do some regular cleaning but unfortunately you can only do so much cleaning on it you can't disassemble the whole unit um, so I'm just going to break it down, just kind of show you what, what it's all about here. So on the top, there's a seal, which if you want to put a lot of beans in your hopper and just leave them in there, we don't. We actually weigh ours out for each grind. But on the front of the hopper, there's a little red indicator dial, which moves when you turn this. So if you move it all the way to the left hand side, there's a little zero one there. It allows you to just pull it up, which is kind of nice. In the top of this hopper, there's a shield which is used to prevent popcorning. So when you have the last few beans in there, they'll tend to jump up and down, especially in a chronicle grinder. Uh, so this stops them from jumping too high. But turn this all the way to the left, hopper comes off. And then now you see what you have in here is the outside burr and then the chronicle burr. So we do have a top down video down here. So you can actually see what we're looking at. So this is actually a little bit dirty right now. We've got a few grinds on there. Um, here's the inside burr. Um, this is kind of like the main auger. We'll give you the, the cons about this in, in a few seconds here, but I just want to break it down and show you what it's all about. So pretty much you have the inside burr. You have this outer burr, which just sits right back in the top like that, just drops in. There's two little grooves. And you go ahead and replace this back on with a little dial indicator right at zero. And then you're kind of good to go. So what we do is we have a little scale here. So we'll put out our 40 grams, what we normally do. Thirty-seven. 39, 40. So that's close enough. So the other nice thing about this bottom grinder is it comes with its own hopper in the front or reserve can, whatever you want to call it. It does have a nice little seal on there. Uh, it's got a nice small hole in the top, so when it does grind, it doesn't go everywhere. Like we've read reviews on a few other grinders where it tends to go on the outside. So that just slides in there. Uh, there's one main on off switch on the outside. And then there's also this timer thing on the top. So. We haven't timed it with a watch, but it, it indicates on here five seconds to 20 seconds with a on off button, which runs a timer. Uh, initially, when we got this product, we, uh, we were loading 40 grams into here and we would set this around the 20 second mark, probably around the 15 second mark, it, it, it had finished its grind. Um, we, we primarily use the grinder for French press and uh, we use a Chemex, so more of a pour over. Uh, it does show it goes all the way to espresso, but I've heard and we've done a couple trials that it doesn't grind very consistent down at that powdery kind of grind. So if you're looking for an espresso grinder, this is definitely not the one. Anywhere in between a conventional drip, French press or the Chemex, this is, this is gonna work. So on here, there's a couple indicators with pictures. So the one I'm looking at right here is gonna show um, French press all the way over to the coarser side. 
And then when you get down to the Chemex side, it's a little bit over here, but we tend to put our dial marker just below this Chemex. And we found that the grind that we get out of there uh, really brings out a true taste in the bean that we like. So today we're gonna be grinding a Guatemalan bean and we have exactly 40 right on the mark. So we're gonna drop that in. Now remember I said when we initially got this product, I'll leave this off for the video, but initially when we got this product, uh, it would take around the 15 second mark. So right now I have it set to 20. And one year later, let's see how many times this takes to grind this down now. Okay, you gotta turn it on. So there's our first 20 seconds. We still have more than more than half in the hopper. And you can see in there, that's all that it's put out. Let's go ahead and run this again. Number two, let's go for three. And we still have some in there. What I'm going to do is I want to dump this out just to show you. There's five. So you can see there's nothing in there. And we're going for six now. So six looks like it did it. We'll take this off. You can have a look. There's no beans in there now. So the, there is some, you have a residual bean uh, kind of grind that holds on. So a lot of people, when they, they look at grinders, they'll say, do you put 40 in? Do you get 40 out? Well, evidently you, you're always pretty much going to get 40 out, but you, you also hold on to your previous grind. So how much of that previous grind do you hold on to uh, is going to, dictate what, what's sitting on your burrs right now. So there is quite a significant amount of beans still still trapped on the on the actual burrs itself, but we got 40 out. And on that last number we just did there, that's what we had left. So there's still quite a quite a bit of bean in there that's still had to be ground. What I'm gonna do is I want to link a video right up here left side yep up here there'll be another link this is going to be from when we initially got the grinder so you can see we did a grind on there uh 40 we've never changed it and that took a mere you know probably 15 seconds to do that full grind um do we recommend it at this point i don't think we would recommend it um it's home use where we're not commercial where we don't do cups and cups and cups a day. This is primarily used once in the morning and once at night. 
and we purchased this off Amazon for around 130 Canadian mark and I say we're coming up to a year and you know 130 bucks for a year's worth I don't think it's that uh, that good so our next what we're looking at our next grinder we're gonna be potentially getting is called the Ranchilio Rocky Grinder now this is more of a commercial grinder uh, grinders are comprised into a couple different um, areas if you want to call it some of the grinders you see will have a little paddle in there or like a little blade like a food processor that doesn't grind the beans consistent so you'll have some really big ones some really small ones then you get into the chronicle which you're actually able to dial your grind setting but as you can see from here a year later or we're starting to suffer the ranchilio more of the commercial side of things have what's called a flat burr or a flat disc grinder and that's where two of the two of the discs actually come together and on a threaded collar you can vary the distance that you want your grind to be so i know the ranchilio makes two versions that we're looking at um, one's called a dozer which has they both have the hopper on the top uh, the dozer has a hopper in the front that's primarily used if you're doing espresso and you're putting your pot underneath you actually get to ratchet the amount of uh, grind coffee you want into your pod where we don't use an espresso machine so we're primarily going to be looking at the ranchilio rocky grinder dozer less without the dozer it's pretty much got like a little elephant's trunk on the front so you put your 40 grams in you turn it on you get your 40 out i heard the residual hold uh, of coffee bean that's in there is very little so pretty much what you put in does come out but unfortunately uh, we wouldn't recommend this at this point in time uh, hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned hopefully the next video will be showing you our new ranchilio rocky grinder so thanks for sticking around make sure you hit the subscribe hit the thumbs up it helps us out and uh, see you around thanks